Hi everybody. Uh, as you might be able to tell by my voice, I am sick <laughs> and I've been sick with the flu for like the last week and I'm not gonna lie, it's been miserable. So I've been having a little pity party for myself today <laughs> and you'll see some of that in the art um, that I made. Uh, but first, aside from that, I wanted to let you guys know that next week I will be having my free Brave Art and Creative Wellness workshops uh, ahead of the next five-week session that we're going to be doing on mark making. So Friday night, Chicago time, from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. May 26th, and then Saturday morning, Chicago time again, from 10.30 in the morning until 12.30 p.m., uh, I will be hosting the free workshops. There's two options, so I hope you can make one of them. Please click the link up here to take you to more information and to register if you'd like. There's no cap. I'm not, you guys, if you want to come, you're welcome to come and you'll be allowed to come. Um, I want to share the process with you if you're having anxiety, if you want a break, if you want some real rest that's different than just doom scrolling in social media, please come and try it out. Try something new, okay? Uh, and otherwise, on with the regularly scheduled video. Apologies in advance for my voice and the voiceover. Uh, I couldn't even talk this much three days ago. So progress, right? Not perfection, just progress. Have a wonderful day. Um, thank you all for watching. And again, this information only applies if you're watching this um, before May 26 and May 27 of 2023. The video will still hold up, but the free workshops will not be accurate uh, after this week. All right, since I've been sick, I wanted to just do like a blah, 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 wine, wine, wine um, dump of all of my pity party feelings to just get them out. So this is what this is. I just took a couple pages in this morning page journal I've been working through and wrote it all down. This feels endless for me and for my son. I'm so tired, wine, wine, wine. Um, then I decided I wanna cover this up and turn it into something beautiful because right now it does not at all feel beautiful and I'm, I'm over it, I'm over feeling this way, so let's go. And I was assembling tools. I took out some gesso that I was mixing with paint because this paper in this particular journal is very thin. So I do mix my paint with gesso as I go through it. Um, using some Neocolor 2 crayons. I haven't been using my Neocolor 1 crayons very often lately and that's not because it's a conscious decision. <laughs> it's just because um, the way my desk is, I have a window in front of my desk that I can't open because of my desk is in front of it and I have shutters on that window and my Neocolor 2 and well, my smaller pack of Neocolor 2 crayons and Neocolor 1 crayons fell back behind the shutters and I can't get them out easily without moving my entire desk. So at some point I will actually do that but again I feel sick so wah wah wah. Didn't do that today. Um, I'm using my gelatos as well and just covering things up. I have zero, um, zero anything. I have like low energy. Um, I just wanted to make something. So if you're having trouble taking risks and just going with the flow, I highly recommend making art when you feel terrible because you will care significantly less what anything looks like if you're anything like me because I had no direction and it didn't even cross my mind that that might be problematic for a very long time <laughs> into this art making process. I used a knitting needle to scrape through some of that paint and now I'm just actually taking a small palette knife and just wiping back the gelato. I did take some gloss medium that's what I was painting on that you really couldn't tell what I was using um, just to seal in the gelato because the gelato will continue to react with the paint and spread the color through the paint.
my color palette is all over the place but it didn't bother me there's something about this journal that I really like working in it and I don't know if it's just because of how I set it up that it's just for writing and then painting over what I've written maybe that's why it feels like a special place for me because even if you know however something turns out is only second to the fact that I know that I've poured thoughts and feelings into this journal therefore everything I make feels special and significant somehow By the way, if my voice is bothering you, I can't change that this week. However, I do recommend just turning the volume down and putting on some music you enjoy and just watching the process. This is just some tissue paper collage. I'm using some plastic sheets underneath these pages so that the colors and the medium doesn't transfer onto the other pages that I have. I basically just took a plastic folder and cut it out. I have mylar sheets somewhere, but for the life of me, I can't find them. I've been looking on and off for about a month, maybe two months. So a folder sacrificed itself for this. On the left side, I took that whole big sheet of tissue paper and covered up most of the page. But because it's tissue, you can still see the colors underneath it. It's definitely more of a murky looking page now because of the black um, that's, you know, partially covering it. But I think it accurately depicts how I was feeling when I was making it. So I feel like the left side maybe is me in my like pity party stage. And then on the right side, I like to think I'm moving back toward health and spunk. I should be careful with my words from a global perspective. I'm not sure that spunk means the same thing in other places of the world that it means in the United States. I'm just meaning like a spunky attitude, like having a little energy in my, in my body. So if it means something else where you are, please ignore that. Here I'm going through some collage papers to see what else I've got going on and making some decisions on what to do, what to add. You can see the collage papers piling up on the left now. Because it's not until now that I'm really taking time to edit what I have. Before it was just putting everything on, putting everything together. And only now am I really starting to, to edit and think about the final images really trying to put some black and white stripes in but I had this left over from a magazine collage I'd been working on and I think it's like a, a building an office building or apartment building that the windows reflected a sunset and because of the oranges and and pinks that I had in this piece it really worked in a way that I liked so that one over and I'm using some gesso here to go over that white tissue paper collage paper because it was a little bit more translucent than I had expected especially since I put the black tissue paper over it so I'm just bringing that forward again just because you added a collage doesn't mean you can't paint on that too So I think that as much as I don't know that I would have 
set out to create this in particular. But I do feel like given the parameters today and given how I still feel like I'm inside some sort of tunnel <laughs> health-wise, um, I'm happy with how these turned out. I feel like they're honest. And I like that it's a visual representation of me moving from this dark, you know, uncomfortable, blah state, moving to the right and raising up into the hopeful, fun, orange, pink, and purple little loops. So again, pro tip, if you're worried about, if you're overthinking your art, make art while you're sick and you'll care less and still have fun. <laughs>